released the first song and got nothing but uh, positive feedback from everybody who's seen it, which is um, humbling to me and kind of ensured me that what I'm doing isn't a complete shit show. So this song came about when I was just sitting in that little tiny room I got in my music room and I came up with some chords and I basically structured this entire song off of those chords. The first time Brooke and I got together, we were hitting a fucking brick wall trying to come up with where we were going to go with the song. Literally, I think we spent like three hours just completely brain dead and just looking at each other and it was honestly I thought it was going to be doomed from the start oh I gotta redo this shit yeah. ready? wait okay I think I am it's five four myself to sit down after work for an entire week and work out the structure of this song. The song is a lot different than there's a first time for everything because uh, I, I, I personally think it's more of a, a rock song um, and it has a little bit more basic of a structure but that doesn't mean that it's um, boring or anything per se. It's just a little bit more straightforward than the other one. <laughs> yep, nope, that ain't it. It's, it's, yeah, I just hit the wrong note. Sounds right. Sounds good enough. Another thing that's different about this song is that, uh, Brooke and I have talked about incorporating keyboard into this song, and I, I personally never played keyboard before, so it's gonna be a learning curve, for sure, but Brooke is, Brooke is the mastermind of, uh, the keyboard synth uh, type of things. I mean, in all of our other songs and even in our other band, Fires of Vermillion, he pretty much came up with most of the keyboard parts. Guitars of this track, we went to 
went to dinner with each other. I, I figured the least I could do for all of his hard work and efforts was to uh, take him out to a fancy dinner. We were talking about all the good times that we've had and, you know, the, uh, the bands we've been in and <laughs> how old we're getting and, you know, all, all that stuff has happened, you know, 10 plus years ago and just crazy to think how fast time flies. You know, Brooke and I have both talked about struggling to find time for our passions and uh, even time just for ourselves either to play video games or just to relax, you know, with with his fiance and his, uh, his work schedule and then, you know, my girlfriend and my work schedule. It's just... It's really tough in finding time to do what you really want to do and, uh, you know, what you're passionate about. So, yeah, you don't have to start me until it kicks in, honestly, because the intro is just going to be probably the clean guitar and maybe piano. Do you, is it too loud for you or whatever? Because I can change the volume. Play, play it real quick. And is it in both? It's in this one. I don't oh, know. Here. you got to fuck with the, uh... I literally did that Friday night. <laughs> Pie as fuck. Yeah, like 4 a.m. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that might be the only section, but everything else I should be good. Cool. Uh, uh. How, how is the hardest part of this song the fucking opens? The breakdown. Alright, what if we do it like this? <laughs> you just want to record each note. No. I just want to go... Avoid the triplets, because he said he wanted the triplets to be pumped, right? Yes. And then just come back and do the triplets later. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I guess that's where I came across this title. Um, All roads lead here. I, I, I believe no matter what you're doing in life or um, what your passions are, you're always struggling to find time for yourself and finding time to fulfill those passions because of your nine to five job or your other priorities. So at the end of the day, we all get old and uh, we all become boring at one point or another just because we fall in the same vicious cycle of uh, a normal routine for the week. So, yeah, all roads lead to this. Yay. Fuck me. <laughs> He's like, give me a kiss. Give me he a kiss. He tries to fit his whole mouth in his head. I mess up Does he really way. try to hump the cat? So yeah. it, 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 <laughs> he is. He's right now. Your face. What's fucked up is like it's two and six, the first two bars, and then someone had this bright idea to do it once every measure at that point, it looks like. Get up in my domain, daddy. That's going on the fucking video for this, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. Get up in my dojo, daddy. Ew, dude. <laughs> what? Get it! I'm not positive that he's trying to oh hump God. him or well, like grab like him. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> he's got a freaking camera front row seat here. <laughs> Is it on? Yeah, I might as well put this in my video. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> Da 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 da